Hey everybody, this is Zendium here. Welcome you back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. Right, so in the last episode, uh, we got the Kena Pakai, uh, which is what I like to call it, or the Kena Passi. Um, so, yeah, that's what we, that's pretty much what we did in the last episode. We got like halfway through the dungeon, um, and I haven't been recording for a while because I've been suffering with a sickness. I've been ill with a migraine, earache, sore throat, block nose, you name it. <laughs> hey kid, why don't you take that cane of Pakai and fire out that hole? I mean, you never know what will happen until you try it, right? Right, so what the Kena Pakai um, is used for uh, is to, like, you've seen all these holes dotted around the overworld, outside the cavern, inside the cavern, wherever. Well, basically what the purpose of these holes for is to be used with the Kena Pakai to put a little uh, ball of light in there, which will launch you up to a higher platform. And there we go, we can open up the door and there you go, teleporter has now been activated. Uh, I don't know if we need to... Yeah, we do. That's right. Okay. Yeah, you need to flip over uh, flip over this minecart. Go right on this and it'll take you into this room right here. Where you will find yourself a chest. Yay, a lovely, lovely, lovely chest. Which will give you a small key. There you go. We got ourselves a small key. Now, you don't want to go missing out on that. Otherwise, you can't progress on further. So, <laughs> make sure you come back here for that. Otherwise, you're going to stumble across the locked door and think, where the hell am I supposed to go for the small key? I've looked everywhere when in actuality in, when in actuality you haven't. Right, so yeah, I'm hoping to get a lot more videos up or recorded uh, from now on in the future because recently I haven't been recording much as I've already stated uh, because obviously because of my sickness. But I just feel that I need to get much more videos recorded. Um, yeah. Right. Because, like, before, during the summer holidays, I was uploading, like, two videos a day. And now I'm only uploading, well, well, yeah, two videos every day, not two videos a day. I, I upload two videos a day anyway. But, like, two videos every day. Um, but recently I haven't been uploading anything, you know, it's just like, yeah, because of my sickness and other stuff that's been taken over time recently, like college and stuff like that. It's all not good stuff, it's not good, it's interrupting with my schedule for recording and stuff like that. So I need to, like, make time for myself to get this shit done. Right, so let's flip over this and get in the minecart and go. Oh, right, we can't go anywhere because we've been stopped, so we need to hit the, uh, make the train track go in a different direction there. And to be honest with you, my ear still kind of aches, but I'm barely managing it. <laughs> so, well, the good thing is I can record, it's just that I'm not sounding as enthusiastic as what I usually do in my videos. Uh, I've been taking painkillers and stuff. Yeah, I did mention this on Friday too, but like it wasn't as bad on Friday. But now it's gotten a lot worse. On Friday I could actually manage it, but like these past few days the pain has just been unbearable. Like on Monday I had the day off college because I was sick. And uh, I tried to get up out of bed. And I couldn't get up out of bed because my head was just banging so much that if I moved, even the slightest motion, my head would just start banging and it would feel like there's a huge massive weight on my head. Or that I've been bashed over the head repeatedly with an iron bar. Well, that's exactly how it felt like. It was not nice at all. Oh god, have I screwed this up? No, I haven't. The good thing is you can pull back in this game. Whereas if you were playing something like A Link to the Past, I think you'd be screwed. If you made that mistake. Alright. Now to get that chest. Um, you have to go. Yeah I know how you get that chest. Because I don't want to miss anything out in this dungeon. Much like any other dungeon in any Zelda game. I don't really want to miss out any chests. Even if they are just like kinstones or anything like that. You know I don't. I have like OCD about it. Like if I miss something in a dungeon. I have to go back and get it. Like, I can't leave anything unturned. Even in Wind Waker, like, 
if there's a chest that has a joy pendant in it, and I know that it has a joy pendant in it, I can't leave it behind. It's just like I have huge OCD about that. <laughs> Right, so hang on a second. Let me have a look at my map. Because I, th I think this is actually the room that I don't want to be in. Because this is where the boss is. And you see there's the boss door right there. And i kind of forgotten the controls of the emulator already. <laughs> which is not good. Um, maybe this is the room I want to be in. Uh, because by the looks of things, I've explored, the all explored all the other previous rooms. Hmm. Uh, let me check a second. <laughs> Because, uh, um, yeah, did I, I came in through that door, didn't I? And then I went down this track and went through there. Oh, right, yeah, I see, yeah, uh, we do want to go this way. Because, <laughs> uh, I thought that I needed to get the train or the minecart into that room so I could go up. But I don't want to go up because I came through the up door and then went down into that room. Oh, damn it, I burnt my ass. Link, stop burning your ass. Stop going wah ha 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 like you do in Super Mario 64 even though Link you're not in Super Mario 64. You're in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time which was for the Nintendo 64 including Majora's Mask. But in that game you don't go wah ha 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 you go ow or eh eh. <laughs> Whatever weird noises you make. I always found it funny how Link um, makes that really weird sound you know Link's of the past when he gets damaged he always goes eh. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> it's like the most stupidest sound for being attacked, but it's so stupid it's funny and it's amusing. Funny and amusing is basically the same thing, but whatever. Alright, so I guess you could already tell what the concept here is. You have to flip uh, one platform over and then move on to the next before it crumbles. Crumble just like the cookie crumbles. If the cookie crumbles, then the cookie monster is going to be mad and he's going to kill you in your sleep. And eat all your cookies. Ow! How dare you. Apologize now. Even though you have no feelings or no sense of emotion, you can't apologize. You don't have a brain. You're just an object. A spiky, horrible object that's going to inflict pain upon me and eventually cause death if I keep repeatedly getting hit by those. Alright, so let's get into this tornado here. Yeah, I can see you, Mr. Bat, trying to hide from me over there. I don't think I don't see you. <laughs> right, so today I'm just planning on basically uh, getting up, getting the, the majority of this dungeon finished. And uh, for DKC2, I'm just going to get the boss beaten in World 3 and uh, have that as an episode. Because I like to keep uh, boss videos, especially if it's, you know, like a game like DKC2 where I'm about to fight a boss in the next episode I like to keep the next episode if it is a boss episode as just that one episode like I don't want to go doing or starting a new world straight afterwards because I just think that's stupid to uh, go ahead and start a new world just after you did something epic like fight a boss um, that's why I like to kind of keep Zelda videos the same too like I don't really like um, I don't really like starting a new, like, after you beat a dungeon, or beat a boss in a dungeon, I don't like starting side quests or anything like that, going out hunting for heart pieces straight after I beat a boss. Like, I just like to leave that as one whole episode, because it feels, like, more nicer that way. Alright, land. There we go. There we go. That's also another kinstone piece. Well, we're definitely picking up on those green ones now. Holy crap. Like, before he wasn't even hardly picking up on those. But this dungeon seems to have plenty of them. Uh, well, actually, we've got three of them so far. We've got more blue ones and red ones than we do green. Um, <clears throat> well, the amount of green ones we have is just the amount of blue ones that we have for one piece of the blue uh, kinstone pieces. Because uh, one piece of the blue kinstone... One piece of the blue kinstone pieces we have three of, whereas we only have like one, like three separate uh, green ones. Uh, yeah, you can tell, you can see what I mean. <laughs> right, so that's, uh, oh no, you don't want to go that side. No, that was a big mistake. Big mistake, boy. Learn from your lessons. Damn it. 
So now we got to wait for this platform to get get all the way back over here. Um, so now that I, did we pick up? Yeah, we picked up the boss key. So now we're just pretty much heading uh, towards the boss door here. Uh, I don't know if I can get back now. I think I have to go all the way around. If I have to go all the way around again, I'm gonna kill myself seriously. Because this platform seriously should be able to take me to uh, the other side here without a problem. And yeah, it does. You just have to be quick enough. And I'm going to die here too. Because that platform just left me. Why did you leave me? I thought you loved me. You said you loved me, platform. Oh, what? Hey. Now, th now that platform's not loving me anymore. What is it with these platforms? Why do they want to break up with me? What did I do that was so wrong? I had an affair with a zebra. Yeah, that's right. I had I had an affair with a zebra. I cheated on these platforms with a zebra, and now they're all mad at me. They're all mad at me. They all want me to burn in hell in the fires of the cave of flames. Okay, get the no. Please stop it. I I'm sorry. I don't love the zebras anymore. Please forgive me. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's not my fault those zebras have big butts in them and big... Uh, what the hell? What the heck? What are you talking about? Oh my god. Uh, you just need to shut up, that's what... <laughs> yeah. Ugh, god. Talking random stuff as usual. And I, I, I'm gonna die here. I'm, I'm actually gonna die. I'm on one heart. Cause baby, you let my heart on fire. Oh god. Yeah, you definitely light my heart on fire. I'm almost dead. My heart is being intoxicated by the flames of death. I know warmth is a symbol of love, but warmth... But this kind of warmth is not the symbol of love. This warmth is a symbol of pain. Do I actually have a fairy? Oh, thank God I have a fairy. Right. <laughs> At least that's one good thing. Are you, oh my, I, I could have probably made that platform as well if I hadn't fell in that lava just then. Alright, if I keep failing at this, I'm just going to make a cut. I can't believe it. can't believe I'm failing at this. Alright, wait for it. There we go. Now, go. Yes! Right, you have to be really quick to get on that platform, I tell you. You have to have, like, super sonic speed skills to make it to uh, that platform. And uh, now we just got to wait for it to come back again. And make sure you actually stand on the platform before you uh, shoot the cane. Because if you shoot the cane and you're not on the platform, it will actually flip that platform over. So then you can't stand on it. <laughs> and then you'll miss the platform that you want to catch. Like that. So make sure you don't do that. Um, you obviously have to do it when it's coming up, not going down. Otherwise, you're going to get on that platform while it's going down. It's going to crumble, and it's going to break before the time it gets back up. Ah, oh, seriously? See, so look at me trying to explain this crap, and I can't even do it myself. Right, wait for it. Well, at least it's flipped now, so it'll be easier to get up there. Instead of having to flip the uh, platform over. Alright, so now we got the red switch done, uh, unlocked, even though we don't really need it, but oh well. <laughs> uh, well, we'll never be using it anyway, because, like, as if we'll ever be coming back to this place again. I pretty much cleared out the whole dungeon of all the heart containers that are in here, so that's good. Alright, come on. <laughs> come to Papa. Alright, so now we can open the door. And uh, I will be needing another ferry because I can tell you, I don't think luck is on my side right now. <laughs> Alright, so let's look for a ferry. I bet you that's the only ferry. Oh, come on! No, there was two ferries, but I just picked it up. I think that was the last ferry. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if it was the last ferry, actually. Because, <laughs> like, they don't usually provide you with more than th more than two ferries in 
the entrance to the boss room. But you know what, guys? I'm going to end off the video here and continue on in the next episode. So, in the next, uh, in the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap, we take on the boss of the Cave of Fl Well, we take on the boss, yeah, the, the boss of the Cave of Flames. <laughs> so, until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. See you on the next video. And goodbye.